Hi guys, it's Edward from Ethan and Edward. And good Saturday evening slash night. Tonight's video is going to be asking you all a question and if you know how to fix a Sony ICF dash P36 volume knob that went bad. This volume knob the other day was just playing with this radio and figured out that some reason for some weird reason the volume knob decided to go bad on it. So if you're wearing headphones or if your volume's up loud, you might want to turn it down because this thing's really loud. And we're going to run some tests and show you guys that it even does the same thing with headphones. So not sure if you guys are going to be able to hear it when headphones are on. But, you know, it's just going to show you guys how crazy this thing is. And I'm not going to put the headphones on because... If I do, my poor eardrums are going to be blaring from all that noise. So, uh, let's get started. But please, turn your headphones down. Or turn your volume down. Because this is going to be loud. Okay, here's the switch. So, here's the switch. We're going to... Here, watch. We're going to turn the volume knob. The volume knob is this little thing. Here, we're going to show you guys. It's this little thing right there. Watch. I mean, it works. Even though it's on FM. See, this volume knob is, I don't know, interesting. Man. Kind of works if you push on it. Does not work very really well. Now, here comes the test with headphones for you guys. This thing has a headphone jack right up here right up let's see right where my finger is there there's a headphone jack not sure if you guys can see that and then if anyone wanted to know where the volume knob is it is literally right next to the headphone jack the headphone jacks right here and then the volume knob is this little thing right over here this little wheel that you can turn so yeah kind of have the radio upside down because on this model the end selector switch is on the well it's on the top so it's kind of interesting how they uh, did this model but we're gonna plug it into the headphone jack really quick well, i guess we can do that on camera oops if you don't knock the camera down sorry guys for that oh oops mm. Uh, yeah, whatever. That happened. Okay. So now, here comes the fun part. I'm trying to do this one handed. And then there's the headphone jack. So we're going to lift this here. We're going to lift this up. And turn it towards you guys. So then hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. And we're gonna plug it in. And we'll show you guys that the headphones are plugged in right here. So if you guys can see that, which you guys probably can. And if anyone's wondering, we were using these, these headphones right here to uh, do our little test. These little headphones. If anyone wants to know what we're using, that's what we're using. These are foldable. But anyways, I'll put, I'll put you guys kind of between. Kind of put the radio... How are we gonna do this? Radio and the headphones are right by each other. And then we're gonna turn it on. Hang on, sorry guys about that. And then we're gonna turn it on. 
You guys can probably hear that. It's loud still. Here, we'll go to music station for two seconds. We'll go to AM. You might actually need to turn your headphones up to hear it this way. If anyone's wondering, no, the volume knob's still doing the same thing. On the We're gonna unplug it, so turn your headphones up. Yeah, if anyone could, uh, if anyone could, uh, explain how to fix this, that'd be great. Because it's, something's wrong with it, and I have no idea what. Oops. So, uh, if you would know, please comment down below what the problem is with it, and, um, yeah, that'd be greatly appreciated if someone could please comment. Um, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting us. You guys are great, wonderful people. Uh, thank you, Ethan, for being an amazing YouTube partner. And he's been doing a lot of amazing work recently, so make sure you congratulate him on that. He's been making a lot of videos, not only for this channel here, but also for Weather Spotters. So thank you, Ethan. You are really appreciated by me, and I think you're a really great guy. And again, thank you for sharing the channel with me. And thank you guys for watching again. This is Edward from Ethan and Edward saying see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.